We played through every WWE game to find out how long it would take for us to get fired from each game and the reason for getting fired. Before we get into it though, make sure you're subbed with all notifications turned on. Don't forget to like the video if you end up enjoying it. Now let's jump into the first game. WWF No Mercy kicks off this video as it has a storyline where you can get fired and it doesn't even take that long for it to happen. If you go down the WWF Championship path, lose the qualifier for the Royal Rumble, and then beat the champion who will most likely be Triple H and Xbox in a tag team match, then the next week on Raw, you will be told by Triple H that you and your tag team partner from last week will have a pink slip ladder match where the loser of the match will be fired from the company. So for those keeping track, this is only week three into the championship mode and we've already found a way to get fired from the game. So of course, we have to let our opponent win the match so we can then be fired from the company and never seen again, right? Not exactly. As the next week, you will be seen plotting your return by trying to humiliate Triple H for firing you last week. The plan is simple. Triple H is defending the title against Steven Richards, and we need to make him pay by using the weapon five times and make him lose. It will be all for nothing, however, as the match will be ruled as a no contest and Steven Richards will not become the champion, unfortunately. The week after, you will have to help your tag team partner as he will be in a you're fired handicap match where if he loses, he will also be fired. The stipulation is that no one can interfere or else they will be fired. Us being fired already has nothing to lose, so we need to help him win. After a few weeks of being fired, the next week, you will be rehired after your tag team partner demands you to be rehired or else the entire roster will walk out. So how long did it take to get fired? It took us only around 15 minutes to be fired or three weeks in game time, so it's pretty quick firing and no mercy. The next WWE game that fired us would be SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. To get fired in this game, you would have to play through season mode and get to October, which already would take around two hours or so to get there. Once in October, you will get a cutscene of Vince McMahon offering you the chance to join up with him and promise to make you the champion and the big star of WWE if you join forces. If you choose to hit him instead of joining, then you'll have a back and forth feud with him over the next two months with it looking like it ends at Survivor Series when you face him one on one. That isn't the case, however, as when you reach December in the season mode, you'll be seen in the ring with Vince after the Survivor Series match, and it looks like things have been patched up and that both of you will move on after the last two months of fighting. You shake hands with Vince and are walking back up to the stage when he announces that you've actually been fired. And all of this was just a trick to hit you with an unexpected firing. Your firing won't last long, however, as a week later, you will be brought back to WWE by Stephanie McMahon, who announces that Vince is no longer the chairman and has been replaced by us, the previously fired superstar. That means for a few weeks, we can cause chaos in WWE shows like booking Vince in handicap matches, for example. It all ends at the Armageddon pay-per-view when you and Vince have a match to become the permanent chairman of WWE. Even if you win, you allow Vince to be the chairman once again, as you prefer to be just a wrestler instead. So the firing happens eight months into the season when talking about in-game time, and the actual time to get fired takes about three hours. The next firing takes us to WrestleMania 19 on the GameCube, and this can be found in revenge mode simply by just starting the mode, as the first scene you see is one of you being fired from WWE. Vince gave us strict orders to escort you off the premises. Yeah. Now that your contract's terminated, make sure you don't show your face around here again, unless you want another beat. Follow me. I see revenge in your eyes. Maybe we can help each other out. See, I can offer you a chance to get back at the very man who ruined your career. I devised a plan to hit him where he will feel it the most. WrestleMania 19. And if WrestleMania doesn't take place, then Vince will be ruined forever. Are we on the same page? Good. There are several missions you need to carry out. Each one will deliver a devastating blow to Vince's WrestleMania plans. You will be compensated with cash for each objective you complete. This contract will guarantee your payments. So yeah, it takes about one second to get fired just because you clicked to play this mode. We still don't really even know why you get fired in the first place. Next up, 
We have to go all the way to SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 to find any kind of example of us being fired. We had a good seven year run of the company not wanting to get rid of us, but that changed in Chris Jericho's SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 Road to WrestleMania story. In this story, Jericho is on a bit of a losing streak and is trying to rebuild his career by winning matches again and targeting championships. The crafty Jericho would even sneak attack and injure Big Show, who was supposed to be fighting for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble thinking that he would be able to sneak in as a replacement. But what happened instead was that Stephanie McMahon caught on to what he had been trying to do and told him that if he lost tonight at the Royal Rumble, he would be fired. Chris, thanks for coming so quickly. Because of what happened to Big Show last week, the doctors say he's unable to compete tonight. Oh, that's horrible. The big lug. Yes, right. Due to this unfortunate situation i had to name a new challenger for the wwe championship match well that's a hard decision but i'm sure you've made the right one well i believe that i have i've asked randy orton to take big show's place in the title match what it's your fault big show was hurt in the first place chris do you think i'm an idiot since you think you can mess around with raw's matches i've gone ahead and tweaked your match it's now no disqualification. And if you lose, you're fired. You've been down that road before, right? I would wish you luck, Chris, but it'd be more than you deserve. Nobody messes with my main events, especially not you. I... but... fired? Get out before I decide to throw you out of here on principle. So you're supposed to win this match, but you can lose it and get a game over screen with Jericho mentioning that he isn't looking to get pink slip tonight and also telling the player to try again. The alternative reality firing happens in the fourth week of the road to WrestleMania and about 45 minutes in real time. We would next have to wait until the 2K My Career era got underway to get ourselves fired from WWE. In this career mode, you simply would just need to get over to the main roster, which takes a few hours to do. And upon getting to the main roster, you will have an option to retire, which will appear here in your My Career menu screen. Clicking the Retire option doesn't actually retire your character. It will in fact get you fired. You'll be seen walking out of the building and then news alerts will appear which says that you have been released by WWE. This takes around two hours to do in real time and around three hours of in-game time to finally get yourself fired. Jumping over to WWE 2K18's My Career Mode now, and in this career mode, you will be pretty much left with a choice to either follow the orders of Triple H or not. One of the orders that Triple H will constantly give is to keep losing to wrestlers on purpose to put them over as they are looking to push them currently over you. After losing constantly, you say enough is enough and tell Triple H that this is the last time that you will be losing to anyone. Triple H says you pretty much need to do it and they'll talk after the match. You'll meet up with Daniel Bryan, the SmackDown GM, who pretty much tells you to not listen to Triple H and just win the match and maybe there will be a spot on SmackDown for you if you do this. So you go up against Braun and you will win this match, which again, you're not supposed to be doing. This leaves Triple H incredibly angry at you for not listening to his demand. You'll call him the Queen of Queens instead of the King of Kings. And that's the final straw as he will fire you from Raw. Luckily for you, you'll have that SmackDown offer waiting for you so you won't be fired for too long. Firing happens in January of 2019 and the story begins in November of 2018. So it will only take you three months in game time and around two hours real time to get fired. For the first time in this video, the next firing will actually happen in the next game in this series. Man, they really wanted us fired around this time in the WWE 2K series. So. This, of course, happens in WWE 2K19, and it will happen pretty early into the story. As Buzz, you will gain the attention of the WWE by performing well in the indie known as BCW. A match with Cole Quinn gets you a tryout match with WWE, and it all goes to plan. Sort of. You most likely took a bad beating by Braun Strowman, but you impressed WWE and you got a contract you were looking for and you would be starting in NXT. After meeting fans outside of the event, you'll be seen on a fan's camera saying that you'll be looking to skip NXT and go straight to the main roster when suddenly you will be attacked by a masked man. This just seems like normal WWE stuff, right? Well, as we found out in the next couple of weeks, this was actually much more serious. You'll be seen in Triple H's office as you try to explain what happened the week prior. I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event. 
and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. I am so sorry. I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever... Bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Nothing said will change Triple H's mind and you'll be fired for so-called fighting with fans. This all happens around 40 minutes or so into the career mode story. And in WWE 2K23's The Lock story, we will find ourselves once again being fired. This time, not by Triple H, but instead, Shawn Michaels. After The Lock's debut in the first few weeks as a member of the WWE roster doesn't go to plan, The Lock and Shawn Michaels have a back and forth promo in the ring on Raw. The promo ends with The Lock shoving Shawn Michaels off of the ring and into the steps which injures Shawn Michaels. And while seen in pain, Shawn can be heard telling The Lock that he has been fired from WWE. This happens around two hours into the story. And that's every WWE game you can get fired in. Which firing did you think was the best? Let us know in the comments below.